ஷங்கரிலா Minister of Foreign Affairs is set to attend the World Economic Forum special meeting on global cooperation. The government is to establish new energy sector regulator. The GC ordinary level examination for the year 2023 will be conducted from the 6th to the 15th of May. In news overseas, Pentagon to rush Patriot missiles to Ukraine in a 6 billion dollar package. And in sports news, Sri Lanka A team will face Afghanistan A in the first unofficial ODI of their five match series tomorrow in Hambantota. Those are the headlines and now let's move on to the details of the local news. President Ranil Wickremesinghe emphasized the government's aim to create a highly competitive export oriented economy based on market economy and expressing full faith in the business community of the country. He pointed out that the current challenge facing the nation is not about maintaining the executive presidential system but rather about building a robust economic framework. The president underscored the importance of allowing the people to decide the country's economic trajectory highlighting that this opportunity should not be missed by anyone. These remarks were made during his presence at the International Rotary District Conference 2023-24 of the District 3220 Club for Sri Lanka and the Maldives held at the BMI CH in Colombo yesterday. Meanwhile the government has decided to bring in legislation soon to confiscate property acquired through illegal means. The cabinet of ministers has approved a proposal submitted by President Ranil Wickremesinghe and the Justice, Prison Affairs and the Constitutional Reforms Minister Vijay Das Rajapaksa to draft the relevant bill. The government says it is bound to bring in legislation for the recovery of assets acquired through illegal means by the year 2024 as per the agreement with the International Monetary Fund. The 2024 Wasat Siriya Singhala and Hindu New Year celebration commenced today at the Shangri-La Green Grounds in Colombo attracting a considerable crowd from both local and foreign communities right from the onset. Numerous competitions unfolded across the three district categories open public and guest sectors drawing participants from diverse provinces of the island. A picturesque resp- res- representation of the traditional village life complete with a model village house served as a centerpiece underscoring the enduring bond between rural communities and their dwellings. The event showcased an array of exhibits including traditional sweets, attire, Singhala New Year customs and rural games additionally the grounds featured a captivating attraction such as swings bamboo crackers and a bustling marketplace and a local physician's cottage known as traditionally as a vedagadara the young and the old alike eagerly participated in the competitions with prizes bestowed upon every victorious participant President Ranil Wickremesinghe graced the New Year's festival site this afternoon engaging warmly with the attendees and witnessing various competitions. He also paid a visit to the model village house and the Vedagadara engaged friendly conversations with foreign visitors enjoying the festivities. The president personally presented awards to the winners in categories including the weaving of a coconut branch, fortune pot breaking and coconut scraping competition. This is a news from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation and we continue with more local news Minister of Foreign Affairs Ali Sabri is set to attend the World Economic Forum special meeting on global cooperation growth and energy for development to be held in Saudi Arabia According to the Foreign Ministry Minister Sabri is scheduled to leave for Saudi Arabia to attend the event which will be held in Riyadh tomorrow and the day after Convened by the World Economic Forum, the special meeting is expected to bring together leaders from diverse sectors and industries to inspire a comprehensive dialogue on the most urgent and complex issues of the day. During the visit, Foreign Minister Sabri will also join as a panelist in two sessions, namely Building the Urban Future and North to South, East to West Rebuilding Trust. On the sidelines, the Foreign Minister is expected to have bilateral meetings with his counterparts from several countries. countries including Saudi Arabia the host country 
the cabinet has approved a proposal to establish a dedicated regulator for the energy sector. Power and Energy Minister Kanchari Vijay Sekhar says the petroleum, LPG, LNG, lubricants, oils and broader energy sectors are set to fall under the purview of the newly formed regulatory board. The Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka will retain its role as a regulator for the electricity sector, while the forthcoming regulator will assume responsibilities for governing various aspects of the petroleum and energy sectors. This separation of oversight is expected to streamline the regulatory processes as well as foster greater accountability and optimize sector-specific regulations. A specialized committee has been entrusted with the task of formulating the framework for the energy sector sector regulator with a concise timeline of two months. And to conclude the local news, the headlines once again. The President expresses confidence in the business community to drive economic growth. President Ronald Wickramasinghe agrees the Wasat Syria New Year's Festival site at the Shangla Greens Grounds in Colombo. Minister of Foreign Affairs is set to attend the World Economic Forum's special meeting on global cooperation. The government is to establish a new energy sector regulator. The GC Ordinary Level Examination 2023 will be conducted from the 6th to the 15th of May. And that was the local news. The main news story is brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. The main news story for this evening. Minister of Education Dr. Susi Premijan says that the GC Ordinary Level Examination 2023 is scheduled to be conducted from the 6th to the 15th of May countrywide. It has been planned to issue the re-scrutiny results of the GC Ordinary Level Examination 2022 before the commencement of the GC Ordinary Level Examination 2023, he said. Meanwhile, the GC Ordinary Level Examination 2024 is scheduled to be held in December this year as usual. And that was the main news story. The main news story was brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. And we watched like this evening, the National Water Supply and Drainage Board says that a 14-hour water cut will be imposed on several areas in Colombo district this evening. Accordingly, the water supply was suspended from 5 p.m. this evening and it will last until 7 a.m. tomorrow in Colombo 5, 6, Dehivala Mount Lavinia Urban Council areas, Moroto Urban Council area, as well as Jadipura and Palavata areas. And that came to you in Watch Light. Coming up, World News. Headlines of the World News Pentagon to rush Patriot missiles to Ukraine in a $6 billion package. The UK forces may be deployed on the ground in Gaza to help deliver aid. Mount Fuji, iconic view to be blocked to deter tourists. Those are the headlines and now let's move on to the details of the world news. The Pentagon says it will rush Patriot air defense missiles and artillery ammunition to Ukraine as part of its new military aid package. However, Patriot systems for launching the missiles will not be sent, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Patriots were urgently needed to face a growing Russian air threat and can and should save lives now. Today, Ukraine said Russia had carried out another massive air attack. British troops could be deployed on the grounds in Gaza to help deliver aid via a new sea route the BBC has learned. The US has said no American forces could go ashore and an unnamed third party would drive trucks along a floating causeway onto the beach. The UK is understood to be considering tasking the British troops with this when the aid corridor opens next month. Whitehall sources said that no decision has been made and the issue had not yet crossed the Prime Minister's desk. One of Japan's most iconic photo spots is to be blocked by authorities due to badly behaved tourists. A big black barrier is to be erected to obscure the views of Mount Fuji. Residents of Fugitsukacha Chiko accuse mainly foreign tourists of dropping rubbish and parking illegally as they search for a perfect photo. The shot in question features a convenience store in the foreground with Japan's most famous landmark rising behind it. That was the world news and now let's move on to development news. 
Under Secretary for Trade and Foreign Agricultural Affairs of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Alexis Taylor, together with U.S. Ambassador Julie Chung, met with President Ranil Vikramasinghe and discussed U.S. support for Sri Lanka's agricultural sector yesterday. The Under Secretary's visit underscored the Americans' ongoing commitment to support agricultural development and economic growth of Sri Lanka, promoting greater food security and enhancing resilience against the climate challenges. This decision affirmed Sri Lanka's key role as a priority country in the year 2024 Food and Progressive Initiative, which focuses on enhancing food security and climate resilience through environmentally friendly practices and improved market linkages. That was the development news. And it's going to be sports news. Moving on with sports news. The Sri Lanka A team led by all-rounder Sahan Arachige will face Afghanistan A in the first unofficial ODI of their five-match series starting tomorrow at the Mahindra Rajapaksa International Cricket Stadium in Hambantota. This series provides a great opportunity for Sri Lanka A players with selectors including a few national players to strengthen the team. The aim is to assess these players' performances for potential inclusion in the forthcoming T20 World Cup squad. The Sri Lanka A squad has been named for the first two ODIs and the selectors are considering making a few changes after the second Afghanistan A ODI. All five matches will take place at the Mahindra Rajapaksa International Cricket Stadium where the pitch tends to offer some turn providing a challenge for pace bowlers due to the wind. That was the sports news. Business news coming up. Go ekatiana youth ticket life again change a cut near meta set trainer as Mahagana de Kukina Habakarana Youth ticket near meta set trainer friendship recommend the all new NSP Ithrumitru account NSB I am a plan for your dream Business News Sponsored by National Savings Bank the safest place for your money some representatives from several foreign embassies in Sri Lanka visited the Hambantote International Port to investigate business opportunities in the island. Foreign Ministry has organized this visit for its ambassador-designate. In line with that, Sri Lankan ambassadors designated to eight countries were taken on a guided tour of the Hambantota port and followed a structured familiarization course on its current activities and the future plans. That was the business news. Economic news follows. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Go ekatiana youth ticket, life again, change ticket, near meta set trainer. As for Hagena, then the Kuina, Habakarana. Youth ticket, near meta set trainer, friendship recommend. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. In economic news, the Central Bank of Sri Lanka in its annual economic review 2023 report said the Sri Lankan economy witnessed a gradual revival in the year 2023 from the deepest economic downturn in its post-independence history. The report was presented to Finance Minister President Ranil Vikram Singh by the Governor of the Central Bank Dr. Nandalal Virasinghe yesterday. The report said that the decisive policy adjustments and structural reforms implemented by the government and the central bank helped to restore macroeconomic stability to a great extent. That is the economic news and the weather report to conclude. Weather report. And finally, the weather report showers or thunder showers will occur at several places in the western, Sabrakamu, central, southern, northwestern, and Uwa provinces after 2 p.m. Showers or thunder showers may occur at a few places in the north central province during the evening or night. Showers or thunder showers may occur at a few places in over the coastal areas from Gaul to Hambantota via Mathara during the morning hours too. Fairly heavy showers, about 75 millimeters, are likely at some places in the western and Sabrakamu province and in the Gaul and Mathura districts. And before we conclude this bulletin, let's get back to the headlines once again. The President expresses confidence in the business community to drive economic growth. President Ranil Vikramasinghe graced the Wasat Seria New Year's Festival site at the Shangri-La Green Grounds in Colombo. 
Minister of Foreign Affairs is set to attend the World Economic Forum's special meeting on global cooperation. The government is to establish a new energy sector regulator. The GC Ordinary Level Examination 2023 will be conducted from the 6th to the 15th of May. News overseas Pentagon to rush Patriot missiles to Ukraine in a $6 billion package. And in sports news, Sri Lanka A team will face Afghanistan A in the first unofficial ODI of their five match series tomorrow in Hambantota. And with that, we conclude this bulletin of news. Now it's back to your regular Saturday evening host, my good friend Shandima, on the other side of the glass panel.